Hey guys, Mark O'Neill here, O'Neill Outdoors, and headed home from a 2021 bear hunt in northern New Mexico. It was an absolute blast. I had some different ideas of what it could be, um, not so much a reservation with anything, but I truly didn't know what to expect or think. We're going to be hunting with dogs. Uh, I had a buddy hook me up with another friend of his who put me on to a guy that runs dogs on bear and lion. It's a fantastic individual. His name is Bobby. He and his partner own New Mexico Hunting Addiction LLC and they do elk hunts. I think they do even a few muley, but the early season um, they run dogs on bear and cat. Um, great group of guys, fantastic individuals, all their team, Chandler, Anthony, Corn, I met all those guys. Great, great, solid dudes. I care about what they do, they love what they do. So I've lost a lot of video, unfortunately. Um, I don't know what exactly happened from my GoPro, but uh, I got some video and I've got some, or a lot of photos. So what I'm gonna do is inlay those photos as I tell you what happened. So day one, drive up, get there, unpack, sort of sort everything out. My wife and kids actually show up a little bit early. Um, they're there for my birthday. Awesome. We just hang out that first afternoon. Uh, Bobby texted me and said, hey, you wanna come stay with us over at our, our place? Like, it's a little cabin. Um, that way you're here and you would just go. Like, nah, I'm, I'm gonna stick with my, my family for right now. They just came up only like an hour and 10 minutes away. I said, okay, just be here at five. So I get packed up, I get all everything ready. I'm looking at the weather. It's raining and it doesn't stop raining. 9.30 rolls around, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna get to bed. I gotta wait for three, better get going. 10.30, 11, 12, 1, 2 a.m. rolls around. I don't know if it was the pre-hunt jitters or excitement. I didn't sleep. The night before, I only slept about two hours. So just letting everyone know, um, at 2.30 in the morning, if you're traveling through Taos, New Mexico, not a single gas station is open. Not a single diner or cafe is open. Walmart, Albertsons, Smith's, you name it, it's closed. I say fuck it. I'm just gonna drive over to El Rito and make the best of it so I started to drive out and I was like holy crap I forgot I had one of those like 300 uh, black rifle cold coffee brews open the ice box there it is just oh it was great I ended up getting there around 4 15 4 30 I took my time I was it was still raining. I mean, constantly raining. Bobby walks up, says, hey, you're hunting with Chandler today. I'm gonna go over here. We're over there, they're over there, they're over there. It's raining. I can't believe how much rain we've got. Sort of a light indicator of, hope you're ready to hunt. Go out, we rig up the dogs. We're rigging, which is when the dogs stand on top of the box and they're trying to pick up scent, but the only issue is the moisture is keeping everything down and has just rinsed it away. Well, at a certain point uh, with temperature, um, that should start to evaporate up and then it comes up off the ground. Well, that cold front kept everything down and it rained till about 11. Maybe nine o'clock in the morning, he said, Chandler said, hey, the only way we're gonna get a bear is to get out and start walking with these dogs and hopefully they will cross paths with a scent of a bear that has moved in the past four hours, maybe. So, okay, how far are we walking? He was like four to seven, maybe, I don't know, five miles and it's raining, shit. I don't have any rain gear. 
make our way up we start seeing fair sign that has been washed out we see a couple of new tracks uh, which is really good I find a little shed of an elk I'm like all right cool hey little bonus by 10 30 I have um, hit a mental wall only being or have only gotten two maybe two and a half hours sleep the two nights accumulated before but I you know I bitch and I harp at everybody you have to stay mentally positive no matter what you do you have to stay focused you go about four and a half miles and no nothing um, I'm starting to get mindset depression in a sense to where man this sucks you know what are we doing out here and every time I catch myself saying that I'm like no we can't do that I can't do that I can't do that and that's how I keep myself going because at any minute dog could bark and they have one line and then it stopped raining the sun came out for like 20 minutes and it didn't really warm up but it, it kind of I switched out some of my hunting gear I laid it out I let my wet shit dry I put on some new stuff now it started to warm up a little bit so we started rigging we were driving around we came up on a hilltop the the, the fog started to roll back in and bam dogs start barking like crazy. Chandler stopped the truck, hopped out, let the dogs out of the box and off the top, and we were hunting a bear. I mean, those dogs took off and were going crazy. And then all of a sudden, stopped. We went up to the next spot. Chandler said, hey, we're gonna get the dogs out. We're gonna walk again. Let's go. Uh, this whole time he's looking for tracks on the ground he sees a good track we pull up starts letting out one dog hops off two three four and of all the dogs and boom we got ourselves a bear luckily um it was a great phase color black bear uh over 230 pounds which is a very good size uh, boar for the whole area waited and waited and waited for a fair shot got it boom amazing shot on the bear dropped it immediately like immediately boom all right it's stuck in the tree uh when we treed the bear they radioed over they to help us um just because it's like hey if you're about to skin a bear out it's easier to do it with two or three guys than just one so they all came over to help that's how great these guys are bears hanging in the tree and anthony uh, says hey i'll go get it and just starts climbing up this tree i mean this bear's 40 something feet up and trees massive so he just starts going up the tree with next to the, the one beside it, almost in like a chimney, and then started to actually climb limb to limb. It was it was impressive. So thank you, Anthony. He gets up there. He slips once or twice. Everything is still soaking wet. Um, gets up there. He pushes it out. Hits the ground. Everything's good. Skin it out. Make our way back. Uh, take the bag strap. Take a little bit of other meat. And that was my hunt. Now, in the beginning of my video, I said that I didn't know how I was going to feel about hunting with dogs or, or hounds um, for a bear. It's very difficult if you're not going to hunt with hounds and dogs to get a bear, but it is not just, oh, you let dogs out, then whenever they get one, you go shoot it and that's it. That's not it at all. And so that is a misconception that people have. Um, I'm sure people have done that, but that is not how these guys hunt. Like, you truly are about to hunt. It was actually a really fun experience. And I'm one of the people that I used to think, oh, I'll never I'll never do this or I'll never do that. Truth be told, as I've gotten a little bit older, I will experience things before I give my opinion to a degree. This was one of those things. They called me up and said, hey, 
we've got some huge bruisers out there this year. You interested? Yeah. You know, for a huge trophy or something like that, that sounds like a blast. I'll come back and hunt with the dogs. They call me up and say, hey, we've got an opening or availability to hunt a mountain lion. Let's go. I'd hunt with dogs. There's Chandler, Anthony, Cornelius, or Corn. Um, they're good individuals. They're solid family people. They're hardworking. Yeah, they have my vote. So if you're out there watching this video right now and y'all want to go bear hunting or you're looking for a mountain lion hunt, hunt with these guys. They're awesome. They'll totally work with you. Um, they go and they bend over backwards to make you comfortable and happy and give you an amazing hunt. Even the knowledge that they share with you is top notch. So Mark O'Neill here with O'Neill Outdoors. Y'all take care, stay safe. Remember to like and subscribe and enjoy the video.